Hello there, my fellow agents. What's up? It's Robbie with Upworld Games, and we're going over the full patch notes for Tom Clancy's The Division. And guess what? We've got new high-end named weapons to go over, as well as a ton of other details about the Dark Zone supply drops, gear score trading, gear sets, the new Incursion Falcon Lost, and so much more. Now, of course, you can find the full patch notes in the description below if you want to check those out at a glance. Be sure to do that. But we're going to start out with the new high-end named weapons, which I'm sure many of you are extremely curious about. They include the Warlord Assault Rifle and the Valkyrie Submachine Gun. I'm definitely going to be going for the Submachine Gun, of course, because I love my Submachine Guns. But it's going to be awesome to collect both of them. And then there's something called the Historian Marksman Rifle. But they make note... That while the Historian will be implemented in the game with this update, it will not be acquirable in-game until the free update 1.2. So just keep that in mind. You may see hints of it in the game, but it's like a tease. It's teasing us, definitely. Now we have some additional changes uh, coming and uh, new features, of course. We've got the new Incursion Falcon Lost. You must be level 30, of course or over and must have completed the mission general assembly to access this mission and then the encounter is going to be balanced for four players with high level gear they recommend level 31 gear so remember that then we're going to be seeing gear sets of course now gear set equipment can be found by completing the most challenging activities in manhattan collecting and wearing gear sets grant powerful stat bonuses and stats remember it's going to be important that you collect the entire gear set to access those stat bonuses and talents now gear sets of varying gear scores can be found for many play styles and i went over some of these in the previous video but i'm going to go over them briefly again you're going to get tactician's authority which enhances electronics and support capability strikers battle gear which will provide bonuses for assault capabilities sentries call that one sounds really cool which enhances marksman capabilities and the path of the nomad provides bonuses for lone wonders so for you solo players that's the gear set you are going to want to go for and yes trading is going to be making its way into the division now items dropped by enemies can be shared with other players within your group trade items by dropping them as loot from your inventory so players in your group can pick them up and you can only share items for the first two hours after you have acquired them so get to sharing. And items can only be shared with players who are currently in your group and who were also in your group when the item was originally dropped. So you have to really complete the mission together to really trade together. And yes, we will be seeing assignments. Now assignments are automatically obtained when you log in and can be tracked from the map via the menu called Mission Overview. Now, assignments are available for a limited time, 24 hour for daily assignments, and 7 days for weekly assignments, after which they will be replaced with different assignments, of course. Now, they come in different categories. They include combat, dark zone, and crafting. And most assignments can be completed while playing alone, but some will require enlisting other agents' assistance to complete. Oh yeah, and then we've got something called dark zone supply drops. Now, dark zone supply drops are a global event where the Strategic Homeland Defense Agency drops multiple supply caches to assist division agents. Now, supply drops will be hourly and will occur multiple times over the course of the day. The supply drops will contain non-contaminated gear of all types that will be ready to use without the need for extraction. That's going to be really nice. Uh, and they are going to be heavily contested, of course. Now, these supply drops will be heavily sought after by other agents and enemy factions that is ai that roam in the dark zone so be ready for resistance now i've got something called the gear score every non-vanity gear piece that can be found when your agent is level 30 has a gear score value which is going to be replacing uh the current system which shows the gear level the higher an item's gear score the stronger the item the overall gear score of your agent can be seen in your main menu next to your player level. Gear score indicates the advancement of an agent. Of course, it's going to be more important uh, when you get beyond level 30. This is how you're going to really tell what level you are beyond level 30. Other agents' gear scores are also displayed next to their health bars 
and improving your gear and increasing your overall gear score will grant your agent access to the most dangerous high-end challenges. Oh yes, there's going to be a group spectator cam that lets players spectate members of the group while waiting to be revived. Now, players use RB and LB or R1 or L1 or Q slash E keys to switch between group members. Now, there's some additional game changes to the actual gameplay mechanics. The turret skill can no longer suppress enemy NPCs as this allowed named NPCs to be defeated way too easily. Now, recalibrating high-end items will now cost normal credits instead of Phoenix credits. And Phoenix credit drops have been increased on level 31 and 32 named enemies. So at level 30, you can expect 1 to 3 Phoenix credits to be dropped. Level 31, 2 to 4 Phoenix credits will be dropped. And level 32 enemies will drop 3 to 5 Phoenix credits. And the Dark Zone will also be seeing some minor changes too. The vendor in the church safe house will now sell items in Dark Zone funds instead of Phoenix credits. And rank requirements for superior and high-end quality items at the Dark Zone vendors have been adjusted. So now superior purple items will be rank 15 instead of 30. High-end gold level 30 items will be rank 25 instead of 50. And then high-end gold level 31 will be rank 40 instead of 50. And they added a new Dark Zone bracket for characters with gear score 160 plus. Now crafting cannot be ignored, it will be seeing some changes too. You will see increased costs for converting crafting materials and crafting high-end items. And they added level 31 and 32 high-end item blueprints to vendors. And then they removed division tech requirements from score level 31 high-end blueprints. And of course we have a ton of bug fixes as well. You can find out more about the patch by following the link in the description below. Check out the full patch notes. Let me know how you guys are enjoying the division uh, after it being released now for I think nearly a month. Wow. So let me know how you guys are getting along with it. What level are you guys by the way? I'm not at the appropriate level at all. Because uh, of real life stuff that happened. But uh, I'm jumping back in. Having a blast with The Division. Thanks guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more Tom Clancy The Division. Right here on Open World Games. And I will see you guys in the dark zone.